Welcome to Fun with Science. As you know that the exam pattern for 2021 has changed. It is now changed into objective type questions. 40 marks objective type questions will be asked in science exam. So today I am going to discuss the important objective type questions from the lesson carbon and its compounds. I have selected different types of questions. So watch the video until the end. Let us see the first question. How many electrons are there in the outermost shell of carbon? As we know that the atomic number of carbon is 6 and if we write the electronic configuration of carbon it will be 2 and 4. So there are 4 electrons in the outermost shell of carbon. So the option D is the right answer. Question number 2. Which of the following structure correctly represents the electron dot structure of a chlorine molecule? Let us try to understand the question correctly. Here the electron dot structure of a chlorine molecule is asked. In an electron dot structure of a molecule, there must be 8 electrons around each element of the molecule. So let us try to find out the answer here. Check out the electrons present 2, 4, 6 and 8 for this chlorine 2, 4, 6 and 8. This is looking like the correct answer. Let us check other options also. 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6. So this is the wrong option. Let me check the third one. 2, 4, 6 and 8, 2, 4, 6 and 8. But there is a single bond between two chlorine atoms. Here the four electrons are shared. So this option is also wrong option. Check out the last one 2 and 4. So this is also a wrong one. So E is the correct answer. Third question. The property of self-linkage among identical atoms to form a long chain compounds is known as catenation, isomerization, superposition and halogenation. As we know that carbon has got the property of self-linking with the carbon atoms to form a long chain compounds and this property of carbon is called as catenation. So the answer A is the right answer. Let us move on to the next question. Which of the following is the major constituent of the liquid petroleum gas? The main constituent of liquid petroleum gas is butane. So D option is the right answer. Question number 5. Which of the following is the molecular formula of cyclobutane. Cyclobutane belongs to cycloalkane and the cycloalkanes have the general formula of CnH2n where n represents the number of carbon atoms. So cyclobutane has 4 carbon atoms. So the molecular formula will become C4H8. Let us find out the answer here. The B option has C4H8. So the option B will be the right answer. Question number 6. C3H8 belongs to the homologous series of alkynes, alkenes, alkanes and cycloalkanes. As all the members of a homologous series can be represented by the same general formula, let us find out the general formula for C3H8. C3H8 is in the general formula of CnH2n plus 2. So this is nothing but the general formula for alkanes. That's why C3H8 belongs to the homologous series of alkanes. So option C is the question number 7. Which of the following will undergo addition reaction? Unsaturated hydrocarbons will undergo addition reactions. So in the following given four options, we have to find out which are the unsaturated hydrocarbons. We know that alkenes are saturated hydrocarbons and alkenes and alkynes are unsaturated hydrocarbons. Alkenes have the general formula of CnH2n plus 2 and alkenes have the general formula of CnH2n. And alkynes have the general formula of CnH2n minus 2. Now let us check one by one which are unsaturated and saturated one. Let me take the first one. Let me check the answers one by one. 
the first one CH4 it is in the form of C1 H2 into 1 plus 2 so it is alkane so this will not undergo addition reaction now let me check the second one this is in the form of C3 H2 into 3 plus 2 so this is also alkane so this will also not undergo addition reaction let me check the C option this is in the form of C2 H2 into 2 plus 2 this is also alkane so this will also not undergo addition reaction let me check the last option this is C2 H2 into 2 so this is alkene so alkene is a unsaturated hydrocarbon and unsaturated hydrocarbon will undergo addition reaction so D is the right answer question number 8 name the functional group present in CH3 CO CH3 if I write the structural formula for this one it will be CH3 C double bond O CH3 so here C double bond O is the functional group of ketone so option C is the right answer question number 9 addition reactions will take place in alkanes only alkenes only in alkynes both in alkenes and alkynes as we already know that addition reactions will take place in unsaturated hydrocarbons alkenes and alkynes so D option is the right answer question number 10 a hydrocarbon has four carbon atoms give its molecular formula if it is an alkene we know the general formula for alkene let us write it it is cn h2n as it is told here a hydrocarbon is having four carbon atoms let us write n as 4 h will become 2 into 4 so this is c4 h8 let us search the answer in the options it is b option so b is the right answer